Hello dear friends, today I will discuss with you the bistable multivibrator by mean the two. The, it is having, it have the two stable states. Okay, zero is stable state, one is also stable state. So it uh, can produce a wave or rectangular wave. This is the application of the bistable multivibrator. And it produces the square rectangular wave with the help of the triggering pulses. Okay. Two stable state mean like uh, there's a low state and a high state, zero or one. So the bistable will uh, it is it is having two states and both are stable and with triggering pulses it produces a square wave okay this this is the this is the triggering positive triggering pulse um we may have a negative triggering pulse in some cases so with the application of the triggering pulse we have the two stable states zero and one so the bistable multivibrator and uh, this is a low state low is less uh, this is a stable state the low state okay we apply a triggering pulse so with the application of the triggering pulse it jumps from low to the high state Okay, it jumps from low state to the high state with the help of the triggering pulse. And then again we apply the triggering pulse, then it jump from high to the low state. So it comes back from high to low state with the again triggering pulse. So low state stable apply triggering go to high go, then again triggering high to low Hello dear friends, today I'll discuss with you the, how the bipolar junction transistor act as a switch. Switch, you know, like it is on or off like a toggling switch. It is like a flip-flop having zero and one memory states. Okay, now the, how the transistor act as a switch. Let's learn about it. This is a meter. A meter is grounded and the collector and collector is given a supply positive and then grounded VCC is the supply. This is a ground terminal. Okay, the voltage between uh, base and ground, base and ammeter. This is the input voltage. If it is less than 0 0.7, no forward bias, then the transistor is off. Transistor it is in off state without uh, the forward biasing. If it is off without forward biasing, there will be no current. Like there will be no ammeter current, base current, and collector current, okay? There will be no emitter current, base current, or the collector current. Now that mean this uh, this point is broken. This point is broken. And uh, this as yes, the point is broken, output is taken across. Output is taken at this point, And here the voltage will appear as VCC. That's a high voltage. So when the transistor is off, the voltage appears as a high voltage VCC. Okay. Now, if the um, if the forward biasing is given to the between the base and ammeter, if some forward there is some voltage is given which is greater than the 0.7 volt then the transistor becomes on. 
there will be a meter of current, base current and collector current. The collector current will flow and transistor is on. When the collector current flows, it passes through the RC and, and their uh, voltage uh, is established. Voltage will appear across RCS, ICRC. And the positive end of the voltage is negative end of the voltage. We are taking the output at here. And when we are taking the output at this point, you know, here the low low voltage, low voltage means the zero voltage. Zero voltage means like uh, the zero potential, low potential. So if it is on, the potential at output will be low. So the short circuit between collector and ammeter. So low voltage at the output. Okay. Thank you. This is the circuit of bistable multivibrator to two transistor T1 and T2. Okay, with the load register RL1 and RL2. VCC supply is given to the collector of T1 through RL1 and VCC supply is given to the collector of T2 through RL2. Okay. Now this is a CR, you know, CS parallel arrangement of C1 and R1. This is a parallel arrangement of C3 and R2. Now the collector point at here is connected to the base of T2. Mean collector of T1 is connected to the base of T2 through C1 R1. Parallel arrangement C1 R1. Okay. Now the collector of T2 is connected to the base of T1 through the parallel arrangement of C3 R2. So output of 1 is connected to the input of second through RC parallel arrangement. And then base of T1 and base of T2 are connected with positive supply VBB through R3 and R4. So the base R3 and R4 are joined. Okay. The base registers, the base registers R3 and R4 are joined to the common supply VBB. And then that supply is given to the base of T1 and the base of T2. C1 and C3 are known as the commutating capacitors. And there is a specific uh, purpose of these capacitors. Okay. Then the transistor T1, you know, the triggering pulse can be applied to T1 through capacitor C2 and a triggering pulse can be applied, triggering pulse can be applied to the base of T2 through capacitor C4. So this is all about the circuit arrangement. The capacitor, you know, like uh, C1 and C2, C1 and, um, not C2, C1 and C3 actually are known as the speed up capacitors. C1 and C3, this is not C2, so please make a correction here. C1 and C3 are known as the speed up capacitors. So this is a very simple arrangement. The two transistors T1 and T2 and a VBP supply is given to the base of the two transistor through R3 and R4. Collector of one is connected to the base of second through the parallel arrangement of C and R circuits. VCC supply is given to the, you know, collector of one and the collector of the second through RL1 and RL2. Okay, thank you. The working of bi-stable multivibrator. Let's start with. We switch on the VCC supply. Okay. Now VBP will try to 
try to drive the T1 and turn T1 and T2 transistor to the on state and due to the topping difference let the transistor T1 turns to on state immediately so collector to ammeter gets shorted and uh, V out 1 goes to the low state here the voltage becomes less here the potential will be less now now it results the loading potential on the base of T2 and uh, therefore T2 goes to the off state and uh, the output goes to high with the result V out 2 comes at the high potential so if it is it comes at the high potential now without tracking pulse these two states are stable transistor you know T1 having low state and T2 transistor having the high state output you know is at the high state okay now let's add negative triggering pulses applied to the base of a T1 transistor so what happens then with the help of the negative triggering pulse transistor T1 goes to off state because of uh, reverse passing to the base of T1 with the result this potential now goes to high so the state turns from low to high now and with the result what, what will happen because of this high potential the high potential will come here also somewhat high and the base becomes at high potential so it turns to on state and turns to on state and uh, V out to goes to the low state now so this is again a second stable state V out to as low and V out 1 is high let a negative triggering pulse now apply to the base of a T2 and it makes this transistor off when it makes the T2 off the, the potential uh, raises to high potential becomes high high here and when the base of this is high this uh, transistor becomes on when this transistor turns off to on the state you know this the current starts flowing IC1 and with that the, here the potential becomes low now the new states are again on low state T1 and high state T2 so triggering pulse again changed Hello my dear friends, please subscribe my channel and do not forget to click on a bell icon to get the notifications about my new work. Thank you very much.